How true is it that if the tribunal rules in Mr. Peter Obi's favor, it will stop Tinibu's inauguration on May 29th as the president of Nigeria? Please guys, watch the video. Do not forget to like, share and leave your comments. Thanks for watching. Sorry, let me ask you this question. Can the tribunal ruling in favor of Peter Obi stop the inauguration of Bola Tinubu as president of Nigeria on May 29, 2023? Can it stop it? There are many people with expectations that once the tribunal rules, it takes immediate effect and that will stop Bola Tinubu's inauguration. But is this true? That's why it's important to answer this question so that we can know what to expect and know how to prepare. Those who argue that the tribunal's ruling before May 29th, which is highly unlikely considering the fact that we have about two weeks or so before May 29th, if the tribunal starts its main hearing before 15th of May, if the tribunal starts its main hearing before 15th of May, then we'll have about two weeks before May 29th for the tribunal to reach a ruling that hypothetically may be in favor of Peter Obi. Now, if they are able to do that, which is not likely, it's not likely because it's not only Labour Party that is contesting the outcome of the elections. Five political parties are contesting it. And once the hearing starts proper, all of the political parties will be given days, dates to present their own case. For every party that presents its case, the tribunal will take note and INEC, as well as APC and Tinubu and Kashim Shatima, everybody that is sued in the petition will have the time to also present their own defense. So each political party will present their case and INEC, APC and Tinubu will have their own opportunity to defend. And that's how it will go for each of the five political parties that are contesting the outcome. Now you see that if they run it every day and each political party is given a day to present its case and INEC and APC have another day to present their defense, then you probably will be looking at a situation where the two weeks will not be enough for the tribunal to reach a ruling but let's say that the tribunal let's assume for the sake of argument that the tribunal actually speeds up the hearing expedites action on the hearing and they reach a ruling particularly on the purely constitutional cases of the 25 percent of fct the drugs case of uh, tinobu in the u.s they reach a ruling on it very very quickly can that ruling stop the inauguration of Tinubu as president of Nigeria on May 29th? Can it? Let's look at what the Electoral Act 2022 says in section 138, part 1. It says where the election is nullified by the court and notice of appeal against the decision is given within the stipulated period for appeal the elected candidate shall notwithstanding the contrary decision of the court remain in office and enjoy all the benefits that accrued to the office pending the determination of the appeal and shall not be sanctioned for the benefits derived while in office part two if the tribunal or the court as the case may be determines that a candidate returned as elected was not validly elected the candidate returned shall returned as elected shall notwithstanding the contrary decision of the election tribunal or the court remain in office pending the expiration of the 21 days within which an appeal may be brought. So section 138 of the Electoral Act 2022 expressly says that if the tribunal reaches a decision 
and that decision actually nullifies the election or stipulates or or rules that a candidate that was returned elected was not validly elected that that candidate continues to remain in office pending when the appeal is heard up to the supreme court up to the supreme court and that the benefits the person derived while in office will remain so whatever what that simply means is that suppose for the sake of argument the tribunal rules that tinubu is not validly elected electoral act stipulates clearly that he is still to be sworn in and is still to enjoy the paraphernalia layer of office pending the determination of the appeal now let's even say that the tribunal actually nullifies the election and orders a rerun of the election section 136 of the electoral act 2022 part one says that subject to subsections two and three if the tribunal or the court as the case may be determines that a candidate who was returned as elected was not validly elected on any ground the tribunal or court shall nullify the election and or and order the commission to conduct a fresh election not later than 90 days after the a decision if an appeal is not filed against the decision or b nullification of the election by the court having the final appellate jurisdiction in respect of the said election four all objections filed in an election petition shall be determined at the time of final judgment all objections filed in an election petition shall be determined at the time of final judgment so which means that the tribunal cannot just determine the 25 percent case and give a ruling or determine the drugs related case and give a ruling or the fact that kashim shatima was nominated for dual constituency and give a ruling the tribunal cannot do that from section 136 part 4 all objections filed in an election petition shall be determined at the time of final judgment which means that it is not possible for the rulings of the tribunal to come before may 29th considering that you have four grounds and the fourth one which has to do with the number of valid votes cast will be very cumbersome to to prove for any of the political parties any of the five political parties considering that the tribunal cannot give a judgment unless everything has been sorted out before it will give its final so it is hard for the tribunal to give a ruling before may 29th is hard now let's even assume like i said earlier for the sake of argument that they actually give a judgment before may 29th the electoral act 2022 that we just read from section 138 actually stipulates it clearly that whoever was declared winner continues to be winner enjoys the benefit of his office in benefit of the office simply includes inauguration simply includes acting as president so even if the court rules even if the tribunal rules before may 29th in favor of peter obi the electoral act simply does not stop tinubu from being sworn in because he has the chance to appeal up to the supreme court